Have you ever been to a, a, a party or some type of a gathering and it just ended up being so much fun? And, and, and when you left there, you just you just smiling inside because you didn't anticipate that you would enjoy this gathering as much as you did. And it would turn out to be as much fun as it was. I've had a few of those examples in my life. I I don't go to many parties. I'm really not a, uh, you know, I'm a kind of a homebody in that aspect of it. And I just, you know, I don't, I don't live that kind of life. <laughs> and, of course, if I go to a party, then it's going to be a, a, a church-related thing because I don't go to other kind of parties. But nevertheless, I have some identity with what was taking place here in, in this room in this Passover meal with Jesus and his disciples. They were having a good time. It's very, very clear that they were having a good time. And uh, there was a lot of uh, talking going on uh, among one another. And I think in some ways it became uh, a time of just uh, excitement and anticipation. I don't think they fully understood everything that was uh, about to happen. I don't think that they had a clear picture, even though Jesus had been telling them, and he'd been warning them, he'd been telling them that these things are going to happen, but I don't think they had got it in their mind totally what this was all about. And uh, the mood turned very serious when Jesus took that towel and that basin and he began to wash their feet. Because we know that uh, Peter didn't understand it. And he said, no, you're not going to do this. Not not to me. You're not going to wash my feet. And, of course, Jesus told him, he said, if you don't allow me to wash your feet, then you can have no part of me. Well, in that case, even Peter began to get some understanding of it. He says, well, then uh, not just my feet, but my hands and my face. I mean, Peter was making the declaration that uh, I'm all in. But we know that when the chips were down and it was time to prove that, Peter failed, as humans do. I'm one of those. I'm one of those humans. And I make a lot of mistakes. I I have times of failure. There's times when uh, I just say, Lord, I'm just not worthy to be a pastor. I'm not worthy to be one of your followers. Lord, I have just really, really messed up here. But uh, you see, the thing is, is that God does the same thing to me in those times as he did with Peter. When we find him there at the shores of Galilee on the Sea of Tiberias where one of the last things that Jesus did was that he restored that old fisherman back to his ministry. Because that's the love of God. And that's the call of God. And you see, the call of God is not always an easy walk to walk. And sometimes we make mistakes. But you see, the call of God is not our call. It's his call. And when God's called you, then uh, he's going to equip you. But remember, him whom he loveth, he also chastens. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.